We know this time of year, chili is the soup du jour. <laughs> and our Food for Life chef, Susanna Dickman, has been over here just tempting us all with a delicious <laughs> and healthy dish with black beans. It's always good to see you. Thank you. It's great to be here. So tell us about your recipe today. The recipe today is called Yes, You Can Black Bean Chili. <laughs> and the reason it has that name is anyone can do this. It is the easiest chili recipe. And in my classes, it is by far the one that people love the most. Well, it's so hearty looking and it, it smells is. great. It is. So in this recipe, and I started it because it had to cook for about 20 minutes, but all you use are black beans, your preference um, of cans. We're going to use two cans. We're going to use a jar of salsa. I really like Aldi salsa. I used a mild. You can use a medium, a hot, That's depending right. so you on what you like. Spice it up if you like. Right. Yes. And then just about half a bag of frozen corn. If you want to use canned corn, you can. Um, I like rinsing all my vegetables that cover my beans that come out of a can. But that's it. And then you just put it in the pan, let it heat for about 20 minutes or so. Um, this is just one batch. I see you can make a huge batch of this in a crock pot, double or triple the recipe, put it in a crock pot, let it sit all day, you come home and you've got the best tasting chili. And your house smells wonderful, and, and you have the best tasting chili. Right, yes. and it's healthy because it's all fiber. We know how fiber is so important to um, fill us up and to take toxins out of our body. We're all looking to lose weight and to eat healthier this time of year. All you need to do, um, cilantro, if you love cilantro, and add some lime, and then just... So you just squeeze it. it on there? Squeeze it on there, put it in your bowl, squeeze it on, go ahead and... Serve us and up. have Ron some. Rhodes, you're going to enjoy this. You're going to love it. Well, I mean, that would stick to your ribs it forever. It does. So it is it a little squirt of lemon and a little cilantro? Yeah, just however much you want. Do you, if you prefer... Oh, <laughs> you want it? You want it? Oh, absolutely. You want to so throw it little, up there, yeah. Pop a little cilantro on Pop a little cilantro. Here. If, okay. You know, you either I'm love or hate cilantro. Up. I love it. But if you like it, then mm -hmm. do it. Sprinkle a little bit of lime. Um, what I like about this recipe, someone mentioned they don't like black beans. Add pinto. Oh. Add Anything kidney. would work. Right. Any lime. kind of bean would work. Let me squeeze lime a little me. lime thank for you. Thank you. Ooh, there we go. Lots of good lime there. Thank you, thank you. Oh. The, uh, what, the protein in this has got to be incredible. Yes. Um, everyone is worried when you start to eat plant-based, no meat. Um, I also mm. have some chips. You're Let welcome to. These too. are a multi-grain. Um, but oh, yes, man. people are worried about protein. Beans actually have more protein than meat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't need to worry too. about that. They are good for your heart. <laughs> they are. It, it's the fiber. Fiber mm -hmm. is so good in your body, taking out toxins. It helps reduce cholesterol. Mm -hmm. So it's all about, um, you know, the classes that I teach, which I'll be having one on Tuesday at St. Vincent's Wellness mm -hmm. um, at 6.30. It's all about eating great food and getting the health benefits of losing weight if you want to lose a couple pounds. Reducing um, type 2 diabetes and reducing and even reversing heart disease. So you don't have to give up good food in order to right. be healthy. I mean, oh, this, this is wonderful, and would you, I don't miss meat in this at all. No, not in at fact, all. In fact, I probably would have had to look and see I that think, there wasn't shredded yes, something in exactly. there. Right, right. Mm -hmm. exactly. To me, it's like the best substitute for meat is black beans. Mm -hmm. Right. I just love right. black beans. Yeah. Exactly. Mushrooms are another good substitute. If you're mm -hmm. making a chili, um, you know, with traditional kidney beans and things like that, you might right. just chop up some mushrooms really fine. Right. Um, even people who don't like mushrooms will, it's just that texture, right? Right, right. which is a lot of, of how, you know, what we're eating and, and how we feel about how certain foods maybe don't sound appealing to us. Right, you get it in I there and you won't know it, and it's a superfood too. Right. Check out the class right. coming up this Monday. Coming up this, this Tuesday. Monday. This yes. Tuesday, yes. 6 30. We still have Sign foods. up and you can learn how to make this and so much more yes. from our Food for Life chef, Susanna Dickman. Thank you. It's always a joy. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. Anytime. We'll be back. You got to hurry up, me, because I'm going to wolf this down and I'll, I'm going to wolf it down.